Hello. Oh, man. Why is that doing that? Okay, it's recording. <laughs> I was like, what is that zero hours thing? Hold on. All right, I haven't done a video just on my camera in a while. I usually go live on my Instagram or Facebook um, and been doing a lot more on Clubhouse. So, but I wanted to make sure I had something that I could potentially put everywhere, but I might talk a lot, so I might not be able to get it on Instagram. We'll see. Um, so, yes, hello. Um, if you're not on the Temple of Frolic on Clubhouse, definitely join Clubhouse. Join the Temple of Frolic on Clubhouse. Um, hold on. I need to get one more thing under my butt. <sighs> Whew. So, um, this is really going to be just a my public diary share. Um, as I'm processing a lot. Um, in lieu of my life, my overall wellness, um, and this recognition that I, I need to move back to Massachusetts and I need to redirect and refocus my energy on, on moving, um, in a very big way. Um, whew, which has been taking a lot out of me in a short period of time. And, uh, uh, it's not sustainable. <laughs> um, and, uh, I am trying to remember, well, and my body is reminding me that this is not just a physical logistical move, but this is an emotional, spiritual soul call pulling. Um, Alexis, get my music's a little too much. So, if you haven't seen or heard any of my recent clubhouse rooms or videos or content, you know some of this may be new to you. Um, but planning this move back to Worcester, Worcester, Mass, where I'm originally from and where I left when I was 19. And for a very good reason, I needed to leave at that time of my life. And so, I just wanna be very clear, like I am, I, I know I need this move and this is like, a good move for me. What you're witnessing right now is old shit. Um, old fears, old stuff coming up and moving through me. Um, which is exactly why <laughs> I need this move. Um, to remind myself that I am not that person. That, well, to remind myself of where I come from and how far I've come and um, whew, but there's an undeniable experience I'm having um, like in the there's like a mi I'm a mixed bag of feelings and emotions and my brain is just trying to process so many different things and all the help that I need and reaching out to all the different people and trying to do what I can here and <sighs> trying to process a lot. And um, I slept a lot last night and my dream world was pretty active. Um, my brain is processing a lot and so I also feel like I need even more self-care space and time, spiritual care space and time, emotional, <laughs> um, 
like this morning I woke up late. Um, I needed some extra sleep. Um, for me, waking up at like a little after seven when it's light out is late. <laughs> um, and I was feeling okay and I was getting ready to meet with my neighbors. Um, I try to meet with my neighbors to work on some things in the house. And I got sick. My stomach just went all sorts of ways and it was like that for a few hours. Um, thankfully that simmered down, but it took away the period of time that they were available to help me. Um, Alexa, skip. Alexa, skip. So, try not to beat myself up. And it's like one of my big things. I'm really hard on myself. Um, I'm feeling like an absolute basket case right now. Like, um,. recognizing that my life has been in a pretty challenging spot for a bit and um, I've been trying to make it work on my own here in New Hampshire or wait for the universe to provide something else somewhere else um, or just something other you know and uh, the darkness inside me started to grow over the last week pretty intensely, uh, and a week or so ago, and I'm still struggling with it. And it's just like it's 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 lighting a fire under my ass to do everything okay. I need to get out of here and get into the state of Massachusetts and be closer to family that wants to be there for me and into a state that is actually able to help me in this transition and um, everything I'm experiencing and <sighs> on one level <laughs> on one level I feel like I am accepting and admitting a level of neediness and helplessness while <sighs> trying to, or at least I'm not feeling it right now, but earlier I was um, just like teeter-tottering, you know, a restoration of my power and recognizing my path and that this is all a part of it. Um, and right now, I'm experiencing a serious surrender. An acceptance and a grievance with Candace and Candace's life and Candace pre-losing her vision to this degree, uh, Candace of days before and the Candace of now, not knowing what my future holds, just the reality of right now. <laughs> and. Uh, God. I'm just feeling pretty weak right now. And, um, it's interesting because I initially was like ready to share and from this place of strength <laughs> and power and this newfound plan and path. 
<sighs> but there's many different sides to it. Um, and uh, <sighs> there are many parts of me that are really excited to move back, like, but at the same time, it, it couldn't happen any faster. I'm still stuck here right now, not wanting to be here, wanting to get the fuck out of here, but I can't snap my fingers and, you know, it's going to take the time that it takes. I'm just um, doing the best that I can to um, remember. And to not give up and to keep asking for help and keep doing the things that I can do and uh, take really good care of myself through this process. <sighs> Which means I can't, you know, can't do everything I want to do, you know, and my body needs breaks and space and processing time <laughs> and uh oh god I'm feeling really vulnerable and a part of me doesn't even want to post this video because of how vulnerable I'm feeling and how frantic I feel right now and what others may think of me um but I've it's nothing new. I share very vulnerably and openly. Um, I go through phases with it. <laughs> oh, and I have been sharing more on Clubhouse than anywhere else, really. And, um, yeah, so, whew, I just felt the need to do a My Public Diary share and blow off some steam and let some of the stuff come out of me and um, I'm glad I did it here uh, I don't know how long this is so I don't know where it will end up but um yeah alright I gotta go it's really hot I don't know if I'm having a hot flash or anxiety or it's actually hot or what <sighs> Oh, thank you to everyone who has been supporting me and offering their time and sending love. And if you would like to offer your time in person or virtually to help me through this move, um, or if you're interested in any of my belongings, because I'm letting a lot go, um, get in touch. Um, and if you'd like to just make a donation to my journey, um, I would happily receive if you feel as if I've added to your world and all the various ways that I show up and you'd like to reciprocate, I would happily receive and could use it very much so. So <laughs> um, you can make donations either right on the Clubhouse app if you're on there or um, Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal. You can find me on any of those using my phone number or email, which is 603 two four seven five two eight eight i always feel weird when spouting and reciting information so i get really silly six oh three two four seven five two eight eight and my email address is at gmail.com temple.o.bliss at gmail.com so with that thanks to everyone in advance many blessings Oh, okay. Oh, feeling a little bit better just getting some of that out. Now I want to run away and hide, drink some water, and take a big deep breath. <laughs> Stop waiting,